My name is Blake Roth. I've been back on the farm 12 years now. I farm with my dad and he started farming with his dad. So I'm the third generation on, on our farm. We farm mostly irrigated corn and edible beans and some dry land wheat. This here is our S780 combine. Then we've got the old trusty 9330. From when I started farming in 2013, from where we started to where we are now, it's been a it's been a massive improvement. It's been really nice working with with Dalton. He's helped us get technology set up. I've got pictures of pages of notebooks with headings, latitudes, and longitudes wrote out on there, just so we could plug that in and make sure both the planters were on the same line when we're on the same field. We're talking like a half hour of setup time. I started using the work plan function this year. That's been incredible. Said it's cut their downtime between fields and on startup from 30 minutes down to just a few minutes. You drive into the field, hit okay on that work plan and away they go. And with the Starlink, Blake's been able to make work plans on the go, edit work plans, make prescriptions. Starlink was new for us this year. We just put it in. It keeps me connected. It makes updating faster. It helps communication with op Center more seamless. And out here we have a lot of spots where cell phone service might be intermittent. Staying connected all the time is, has been great. Speeds 200, 300 range out in the middle of nowhere where they farm. The Starlink speed I get in the middle of the field, in the middle of nowhere, are probably better than internet some people have at their home. It's amazing how affordable they make the Starlink subscription for us. Thousand bucks for three years and then 200 a year after that. Told him the cost. He thought it was kind of a no-brainer to put it on the three machines he runs. It's incredible. We started machine seat during harvest last year. I'd say the biggest benefit for that is your grain cart's always in the right spot. My dad runs the grain cart and he's also in charge of logistics and, and trucks and everything. And it gives him free hands and, and free time. And he doesn't have to worry about the position of his cart as well. He can take care of other things while he's working. One less thing he has to worry about, his dad can continue to run the operation a little more smoothly while getting a consistent unload every time without the combine slowing down, which also improves their efficiency. Upgrading the G5, as soon as we did it, I couldn't believe that we hadn't done it earlier. It was just, it was night and day difference for us. It's a lot easier to navigate, a lot more intuitive. He can see more, he can do more on a bigger screen. Basically the whole enchilada there for him. <laughs> With where they farm, they farm some pretty massive hills. I would say that for somebody that farms in hilly farm ground and they run a pole type strip tiller and three point planter, I think implement guidance would be a requirement. I mean, I don't see how they could farm without that. I bet it eliminated 70, 80% of our shifting. And then with the auto path as well, that kind of ties in if that strip tiller moves to the right six inches, your line moves to the right six inches. We've run pretty much nothing but John Deere as far as I can remember back. Honestly, the, the biggest thing is the service. For us, it's who's gonna return a text at eight o'clock at night or who's gonna answer their phone call when you're in a pinch and, and Andy Dibble, the service tech, He's second to none in my opinion. Whatever they have a need, they give me a call and I usually they're pretty quick to give them a hand to get their problem figured out so they can get back in the combine or planters or whatever. Sunday evening at seven o'clock, I send him a text and he's getting on the internet looking parts up for me and it really don't matter what time of day it is when they call, I'm usually there to answer their phone calls or questions or talk them through how to fix something to get them going. That's probably the biggest thing for us is the service we get. We've got four young boys and they love equipment. They love farming. They love being out with me. It's cool to share that with them. They look at the screens and everything in there and they're just, they're infatuated with everything. And when I click the guidance line and it beeps and tracks on the line, I mean, they, they love all that. I think that's probably part of what's gonna keep kids involved with agriculture is the, the technology and, and what we're able to do with that. They tell me all the time they wanna work for me when they get older. I, I tell them it, it can't be soon enough. So <laughs> I think it's important kids learn a, a strong work ethic and I think they definitely get to see that living on the farm. They get to see how we, we go to work every day and we, we work to raise our crops. And so I, I think that's important for kids to learn that at a young age. Today, just the way things are, we just, we want to keep farming. For us, it's just, we want to keep the, the family farm alive.